Later, my father did his shahada. Sharu la ilaha illallah, Sharu Muhammad Rasulullah. Step by step by step, we saw so many people enter into Islam. We wanted to tell the whole world what is Islam. We wanted everybody to know the real Islam. I said, how could this escape our knowledge? How could we not know about this great and wonderful thing called Islam? And it looks like all we got to do is just tell the people. I went to the imam of the masjid there and I told him, let's, let's tell the people. Then I found out something else about us as Muslims. And that's why we've got this convention here right now. This is why we have the exhibition. So you're going to use this week to learn how you can become, inshallah, the best Muslim you can be and how you can show the real Islam to the people that are not Muslim. This is your duty. This is your duty. This is your language. This is your people. Just as it's my duty to give the message to my people and my language. And so uh, the same way, it's your duty to give the message to your people. Allah will not ask you if they made shahada. But he will ask you if you delivered the message. Alhamdulillah today... I can tell you with no doubt in my mind, we have seen thousands of people give shahada. Several hundred at a time. And I don't do it through debates. But I don't need to debate any Christian. I was a Christian. I am a Muslim. If you want, I can give you both sides. Easy. Okay? I'll play both parts. I'll be the Christian and tell you this, and then I'll be the Muslim and give the answer. And there won't be any argument. And we've done that so many times. And let me share one story with you before I end. I'm going to leave now. Inshallah. I was telling the brothers today that I was asked to give a talk in a church in Hagerstown, Virginia. Uh, Hagerstown, Maryland, just outside of Virginia. This was in 1999. And I went there and I gave a talk in the church on Sunday. Because I know how to address the people. How many years was I a Christian? Fifty years? I know what they want to hear. You get them ready and they said, Oh, wow, this is normal preaching. But then when I came to the part, La ilaha illallah, I stayed on La ilaha illallah until they said, Yes, that makes sense, it makes sense. There was one old lady that she was saying yes. Afterwards she said, Yes, but I just don't want to do it the way you're telling me. Okay? But guess what else happened? Two people did shahada right there. Hello? In the church in front of their preacher. They said, yes, we agree. We like this. We want to know more. And we say there's only one God to worship. Shadu la ilaha la In front of the preacher. And one of them was his daughter. I took them to the masjid and they did shahada in the masjid that afternoon, a Sunday afternoon. And later, the boy, he married the girl. There are Muslims living there now. Now, let me ask you a question. If I would debate and argue with this preacher and made him look stupid, would he ever bring me back again? No. I'm going to ask you a question. If you were at a place and you saw somebody change their religion to another religion in the temple of that religion and the father was the priest there, what would you think? Is that man ever going to call me again? Do you think he'd call me again? Three months later, he called me again. Come back again. We really enjoyed it so much. I said, how's your daughter doing? I want to remind him, see what he's going to say. He said, well, she's doing fine. She likes Islam. It's very nice and lovely. She treats us so good. You know, we're amazed at her personality. We love you guys. Could you please come back again? And I did, alhamdulillah. So I'm just showing you that it's not guidance from me, not guidance from you. It's guidance from Allah. Allah guides whom he wills, whom he wills. So we ask Allah to guide me, all of us, and all the people. And whoever he guides, they'll be fine. But whoever Allah doesn't guide, <laughs> they got a problem, serious problem. Our job here with this exhibition of peace, vision of Islam, is to do one thing, communicate the true message. If the people don't want it, that's your choice. That's their choice. We don't have to take it. But it's our responsibility in putting this on, all the scholars that are here, it's their responsibility to tell us what's the truth in Islam and let us see for ourselves. 
And that's what we're going to try to do through this week. So I need you guys to listen to me. You have to participate. Your side of it. Your side of it is to show up every day. And your side of it is to bring other people. I want you to look at all that blue plastic. Look at the blue plastic back there. You see that blue plastic? The next time we come up here, I don't want to see blue plastic. And that means I don't want you to steal the chairs tonight, okay? I want you to go get some people and fill up those chairs so they can hear this message before it's too late. Because if that man from Cairo, Egypt, had not taken the time to spend three months of working slowly, carefully, nurturing myself, my wife, my father, my daughters. They also became Muslim, by the way. I forgot to mention that part. And a priest. Look at what Allah gave him. And from all the people that we gave Shahada, this man in Egypt is taking the reward for that, even now. Even now. I'm not saying you'll give a Yusuf Estes the Shahada, but I'm saying... Allah will give you the reward according to what you're trying to do. Please don't leave this place tonight and forget what you heard here. Please carry this with you.